Welcome to Dog Mom Monday. <laughs> You're such a sweet girl. Hi guys, welcome to my channel, Jelly Holiday with Mary. I am Mary, and today we are going to get our first look and do a little review of a new toy, I guess. It's very difficult to brush dog's teeth. One thing that is really awesome for basically brushing their teeth is giving them a bully stick. They're also great for puppies. They're very digestible, so if they bite off a big chunk, it's not as scary as if they, you know, took off a piece of a toy or something and ate that. The only issue is once the bully sticks get down to be, you know, swallowable size, or sometimes even larger because mine try to swallow it anyway, um, then you have to be real fast to go grab it out of their mouth before they swallow it just for choking hazards. So I was doing some research trying to find a contraption that will like secure the end of the bully stick so that they can chew the whole thing but not the little tiny piece at the end. So I found a couple things on Amazon. One was like a bone with a hole in it and you could screw in this little device to like pin the bully stick into the bone but it didn't have great reviews and I eventually found this thing called a safety chew which makes a lot more sense so let me take it out and I will show you guys what I got this is the device it has this plastic piece in there it's got this little thing here so the idea is that you push the little black piece out of the way and then on the other side there's a, a spot where you can push the pin and then the pin comes out far enough that you can insert the bully stick and then pin it back in. Does that make sense? So they sell their bully sticks with pre-drilled holes, but if you have a drill, you could very easily drill it yourself. You can only buy this if you also buy some of their bully sticks. So I bought the smaller ones for my little girl and then some bigger ones for my boy. All right, so let's get these out and see how this goes. This seems nice and sturdy. So it also gives you directions on the actual toy. This is kind of awesome, so let's see. They're gonna come running as soon as they smell it. All right, so if you've never seen a bully steak, this is what one looks like. This is actually darker than I've seen them, usually they're more like a light brownish color. It comes with this pre-drilled hole, so the idea is to stick the bully stick into this hole and then push this pin through the hole. Alright, so the pin goes all the way through, you push it flush with the toy, and then this little latch goes over the pin so they can't they can't push it out or pull it out so then that's your that's your setup and they can just work on this until it gets down to the very bottom and then you can take out the little dangerous piece and go from there all right so there's one for Edie I'm shocked they're not over here yet this is more like the color I was thinking all right so this one is secured in there too there we go. Let's let them know that they have something fun to work on. <laughs> They're gonna be so happy. What do you think? All right, yep, that one is yours, Abby. That one is yours. Such a smart boy. <laughs> she unfortunately likes to chew on top of the couch, which is not convenient. We were having a movie night, so <laughs> put this bed up. Hey girl, can we maybe not chew that on the couch? Hmm. Come on. Come on. Let's chew it someplace else. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, thank you. Come. Let's 
chew it on the floor. Edie, no, no. Good girl. Yeah, good girl. That's a better spot. <laughs> That's so cute when they use their hands. <laughs> I would say that these are definitely a success. They're really enjoying them so far. <laughs> and I love when they use their hands to like hold down the little disc. It's adorable. So yeah, two thumbs up for the safety chew. It's such a brilliant idea. I was trying to figure out something like that and then I happened to find it. I was just Googling instead of going on Amazon to try and find it. Albert's little feet just popped out. Look at this boy. I love when his little feet pop back like that, like a little frog. <laughs> so yeah, I was just uh, googling like bully stick holders, things like that, and this one is definitely the best looking one, so I'm going to give them a great review. I highly recommend it. Um, let me get the pricing for you so you can see about how much it's going to be. Okay, so at the time of filming April 8th, 2021, the bully sticks combinations are so in order to get the the little disc that holds the bully sticks um you have to buy a pack of their bully sticks as well so you get the the little disc and then um a pack of three or you can get a pack of seven bully sticks with the pre-drilled holes in them um these i don't smell them which is a big deal because bully sticks often smell really bad um <laughs> so he's still working so um when we bought them we bought one safety chew with three regular size bully sticks for Edie because they're the smaller ones and that was $29.99 and then we also bought one safety chew with three thick bully sticks which is the one that Albert has um, and that is $31.99 so I think it came to like maybe $66 with um, tax and stuff. I also love that uh, they donate a meal to a local shelter for every order that you make. So I said earlier that you could just buy bully sticks from like your local pet store and drill holes in them, but I'm really impressed with this product and uh, I just, I wanna support these people now. So uh, I'm happy to buy more bully sticks when we need them from their company. You can buy um, a refill pack with the pre-drilled holes in the bully sticks for um, the thick six inch seven pack is $25.99 and then the regular six inch seven pack is $20.99. So that's incredible actually because I've purchased bully sticks recently from our local store and um, it was $20 for five thin, like really thin bully sticks. And the ones that Edie has are called regular and they're thicker than the ones I would get at the, um, at the pet store. So I'm really impressed with the pricing, plus they're pre-drilled so you can just stick it right in your safety chew puck and go from there. So I'm really impressed with this company. I'm impressed with this product and it gives me the peace of mind that I can just like work from home and have them do something, keep themselves entertained. I don't have to keep constantly checking on them like, okay, is the bully stick getting too small? Is she gonna, you know, get a big piece off and swallow it? I don't know. I'm really impressed with the size of the bully sticks. The puck is amazing. I love it when they use their little hands. It's so stinking cute. Um, and yeah, I feel like I can let them go for a while. Plus it's doing me a favor by brushing their teeth for me. So yeah, this is like win all around. I highly recommend this product. This is not sponsored. I just searched for something to hold their bully sticks to keep them safe. And this is what I found. It's not the cheapest thing in the world, but once you buy the, the puck, you can just buy the refills and the refills are a really good price. So. <laughs> I approve. Albert and Edie approve. Five Alberts and Edies all around. <laughs> Alright, I wanted to give you guys an update after having these for uh, probably a month now. 
definitely don't want to leave these like unattended I would say so like if you are planning on getting this to give it to your dog like while you're at work or something the the toy itself is not super chew proof like I feel like if I let them chew on this for long enough they would probably start to get some pieces off I mean you should always supervise your dogs when they have a treat anyway to avoid choking hazards but I guess that's it for this video so thank you so much for watching if you have any questions leave them in the comments down below if there are videos you would like to see uh, leave those in the comments and I would appreciate if you give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it or found it helpful and uh, if you want more dog content or Disney content <laughs> the two things I like to do the most uh, please do subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys in the next one don't stay away too long